Now to the follow-up, our commitment to the stories impacting you and your neighborhood. And tonight I head to Gowanda, a community that says it was blindsided when the state shut down one of its biggest employers one year ago. Right now I want to walk you through the timeline of events leading to our follow-up today. It was December 21st, 2020, when New York State ordered three correctional facilities to close in 90 days. Gowanda was on that list. Fast forward to March 31st, 2021, Gowanda Correctional closed its doors, shifting more than 600 jobs to other facilities across the state. The prediction at the time, the closure would have a $54 million impact on the local economy. Now, nearly one year later, as Gowanda is still trying to get answers, I'm revisiting the community to see what the future holds for this Southern Tier village. In this village of 2,500 people, when 600 jobs are lost, moved elsewhere, it's felt in the local stores, the local restaurants. What has the closure of the correctional facility meant for the community and the Wicked Glen? Well, it's kind of detrimental. Wanda Cook, born and raised in Gowanda, owns the Wicked Glen, a restaurant along the water in the center of town. There was a lot of people here that lived here and raised their families here and patronized all of our businesses, um, the grocery stores, the gas stations, and now they're gone. Gone after the state shut down the Gowanda Correctional Facility in March 2021. Hundreds of employees there were relocated. When former Governor Andrew Cuomo announced the closure, his office said it was for cost savings and a declining prison population. You know, it was a demoralizing decision which, by the way, we feel was done incorrectly with a misuse and abuse of power. Community leaders still licking their wounds from what they call a lack of transparency from the state. They've submitted dozens of letters seeking financials to substantiate the 90-day closure, but are denied answers again and again. We've received none of that from Governor Cuomo nor Governor Hochul. Uh, those are required by statute, and they've given us none of that. What does that signal to you? It signals to me that they don't... Um, they don't take us seriously. They don't care. The other concern is what happens to this now vacant campus, a barbed wired time capsule. Many worry recent history will repeat itself. Just down the road from Gowanda in the neighboring town of Perrysburg sits this massive campus. It was once the J. N. Adams Memorial Center, a big hospital. Since the 1990s, it's been abandoned by the state. With no proper redevelopment, this historic pile of brick has become an eyesore, a playground for vandals. Locals fear the same will happen to the Gowanda Correctional Facility. And the state has yet to even respond to giving us any kind of a reasonable reuse plan or any kind of an economic redevelopment package to be able to do something with that facility. In March 2021, a representative from the Department of Corrections said the department will work with the Office of General Services and the Empire State Development Corporation in an effort to identify a reuse for the facility. Facility. So 12 months later, we followed up and received this response. Empire State Development is committed to working with local stakeholders to find new and innovative ways to repurpose shuttered prisons so they can add jobs and investment back into the local economy. We will continue to assist with redevelopment for this asset that best fits the needs of their community. So what do you do from here? Well, you do what Gowanda has always done since it started in 1848. Uh, you fight where you can. You fight for your people. Gowanda officials hope Governor Hochul will work with them in their fight for this community's future. Now, there has been some prison redevelopment we can look to elsewhere in the state. The former Mid-Orange Correctional Facility in Warwick was transformed into a business park after the town purchased it. And Arthur Kill Correctional on Staten Island is now a movie studio. According to the state, the prison population has dropped nearly 58% since 1999.